Ruby FPV just released 11.6 firmware version and uh, there's several things that were improved, mainly uh, things like performance, uh, hopefully the link quality, there are a few uh, bugs that were improved as well. And today it's gonna be my first flight testing it. As you can see the Ruby is booting up. I'm just getting the satellite lock, five satellites, so we'll wait a few more minutes, but hopefully uh, you know, the video will be much smoother. Uh, the drone is recording and that means we're ready to go. I have the satellites, so yeah, let's go. Oh yeah, I just lost the satellites. Let's go. It's in angle mode now. Just for takeoff. Oh. I think it's pretty good. I think the colors are uh, not 100% accurate. Way too warm. But so far. I think it's um, much better, the link is much better. I don't have the breakups that I used to have and this is on the high quality mode. Oh, that was a bit too low. Um, let's go for a quick range test. I had small breakup there, but nothing big. 600 meters away. Oh, and I'm on 15 milliwatts, which is really not a lot so probably one kilometer off range something like that yeah so 15 milliwatts Battery 60%. and I have some patch antennas and um, they are 8 dbi yeah some first breakups but we are one kilometer out which is uh, pretty amazing for 15 milliwatts. Some breakups, nothing uh, extreme, but again, I'm on 15 milliwatts and I reached one and a half kilometers and I decided to come back because yeah, it's a bit far <laughs> for my liking and maybe let's hit return to home and see what happens yeah the drone is the drone is going up first and, and then it goes um, towards us at 27 kilometers an hour should be perfectly fine uh, with the battery, 3.6 volts still. But yeah, you can see 15 milliwatts, uh, really good performance. I feel like I could fly five kilometers easily with this. And the best thing is you can, on the flight, you can change the, uh, the power. So let's do maybe 50. So I swapped a new battery and I changed uh, the sensor calibration file on the drone. And as you can see, the colors I think are much better. Uh, I've also upped the TX power on the drone. So it's adaptive up to 200 milliwatts, which should be loads, loads and loads. Um, okay, let's, let's go for a second flight. 
and I already like the colors much better. Okay, I had a first breakup there, but it recovered pretty quickly. Um, not sure what that was about. Maybe my antenna positioning. But let's keep on flying. Okay, so I'm at one kilometer, uh, 50 meters altitude. I'm running out of space, so I'll have to turn around now because the houses are there. I don't really want to fly above them, so uh, maybe let's just go here. Um, this is at 2 megabits, 1 megabits per second, so the link is pretty low you can see but it's still still okay I can still see everything so, so 1.3 megabits A bit low on battery, but hopefully I'll be able to fly back. The good thing is now the limit for my flights is the radio link or the control link and the battery. So don't need to worry about any of that um, ruby or the visual stuff uh, anymore. Okay, I'm uh, 500 meters away now and approaching landing. Yeah, I can hear it now, 200 meters. So, um, to sum it up, I'm really happy with the performance. Uh, it works way better, 11.6. Uh, if you haven't tried it, definitely try to uh, upgrade. The flashing procedure is really simple. Just, if you have a spare USB stick, plug it into your VRX and update the software from there. And um, yeah, I think that's it. I'll do some more flights, but um, yeah, thanks for watching and see you next time.